Hi everyone, I wanted to take a second and um, talk to you about your website critiques uh, this week. Uh, that's This assignment kind of functions as a midterm and it's really important so I want to make sure that everyone knows exactly what's expected of them and how to do the website critiques. So this is uh, your activities page. Um, so what you need to do is, I have links to the document that I'm going to show you in a couple of places, but let's just scroll down here and take a look at uh, the final web critique. It says, you know, as we've been observing, uh, as we've been observant web users for the last two weeks, you're now asked to choose a good example and a bad example of an informational website and then complete the discussion template. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be downloading this discussion template and you're going to be, uh, you're going to download it, open up your Dreamweaver, and then you're going to be filling out different areas of the template, and then you're going to be uploading your template to uh, the discussion area to then facilitate our discussion of these uh, good principles and bad principles that we should be implementing or not implementing in informational websites. So, um, and it's very important for us to know these good and bad principles because, for one, I want to make sure that your term projects utilize these uh, rules, strategies, etc. But, you know, as web designers, rule down rural strategies, etc. in terms of informational websites, because depending on the type of website, you're going to be using different rules and strategies. But um, So I want to make sure that you implement these in your term projects for the purpose of this course, but also I want you to take away these rules and strategies to other future, future design projects that you might be working on and take these with you to other firms that you're working on. So be sure, other firms that you're working within, sorry about that. So um, make sure that you really do pay attention to these principles that you're, that we're that we're learning through this activity. Um, also, there's a very good chance that at the end of the course, I'm gonna be asking you to um, talk about these principles. So be sure that you're not just looking at your own, but looking at each other's. So here's your here's the, dis, the, the instructions. It asks you to download the discussion template. If you just click on the link, what it does is it opens up the template in a new window, but this is, this is the web. You, how, how could you edit this? Well, if you're, a little tech savvy, you could right click and view the source and it gives you the code and then you could copy this code and paste it into Dreamweaver. That's not what the instruction tells you to do. The instructions tell you to right click on this discussion template if you're a PC user. If you're a Mac user it tells you to hold down the option button and click the link or hold down the control button and click and then save target as. So I'm a PC user at the moment because I'm at work so I'm going to right click the discussion template and I'm going to save target as and then it's going to ask me where I would like to save it and I'm just going to go ahead and save it to my desktop and it's going to save it as discussion template HTML so I'm going to click save and I get this confirmation box that tells me that it's saved. So now I can go to my desktop and now I, so now I go to my desktop and I can see this file that was saved here on my desktop. If I double click on the file, by default, it tells me to, it, it'll open it up in Dreamweaver. For some of you, if you, de, if, you, if you double click, it would actually open it up in your default browser. So then all you would get is just the template again in the browser that you can't do anything with. But what I need you to do is to make sure that you open the file up in Dreamweaver. So if I was to double click it would open up Dreamweaver but just for the purpose of this discussion because I don't know if you guys have it set up that way I just want to make sure that you open it up in Dreamweaver. So your Dreamweaver will open up. Takes a second and then you have the template where you then you can then insert your text. So what type of content is found on your website so maybe you would write um, and then what's the URL for your website maybe and this again that don't forget this is for the good example and then your bad example would be uh, I don't even know if these are real websites. I'm just doing this for fun. So 
What is the purpose of these websites? Be sure that you describe that here. Who are the intended users of these websites? Be sure that you describe that there. What are the main tasks that the users need to perform? Okay, so think about these tasks in relation to everything that we've been discussing. Now here's where uh, the real meat of the assignment comes from. This is really what, you were, what we're paying attention to to facilitate our discussion. So why do you consider this to be a good or bad example? So why is blackjack.com a good, uh, a good or bad example? So maybe you would say this is the reasons why you know they did a really good job. This is what they did a really good job. This is what they did a really good job. Or this is where they failed. This is where they failed. This is where they failed. Okay. And then taking this information here in section six, what can we as designers take away and you know, how can we apply this to the future sites that we might make? So you don't necessarily, you could do more than three. I did, but at least three. So I want you to be writing for us some principles that we can take away here. And this is the key area where you're gonna. I want you to be looking at on everybody else's postings. Okay, are these principles? This is what's important. So that now that we have this information filled out, you're now going to save it. So file, save as. So now I would write maybe my last name, Hallman, discussion template. It's now saved to my desktop. So then you can go back into the course, and then when you get to the discussions, so let's say you get to the your discussions, you're going to create your message. You're going to tell us the type of website. Write for us some sort of descriptive thing, you know, and then tell us to look at your attachment. Then you're going to attach your file. You're going to upload your file from your computer. You'll receive confirmation that your file has been attached. Make sure that you compose your message, and then you're going to post it. This is a very important assignment. Um, it's worth a major portion of your final grade in this course, and I'm expecting everybody to be discussing these in the discussion forum. Um, so be sure that you are uh, learning these different principles, discussing these different principles with each other, and then applying it inevitably of applying it to your own term project because we're all doing informational websites for our authors and then I'm hoping that we're all going to also apply it to our own professional careers as well. So let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.